I just wanted to give a huge shout out to today's sponsor, Opera GX. Now, if you haven't heard of Opera GX, first question, why? Have you been living under a rock? Second question, I am glad to be the person to tell you about them. Opera GX is the world's first ever browser for gamers. That is right. It is a browser for gamers like you and gamers like me. Opera GX, thank you for sponsoring the video. Let me show you guys some of the features real quick because the features of Opera GX are all super duper cool. We start off with the basics right here on the sidebar. You could, you could use Facebook Messenger. You could use WhatsApp. You could use Discord. You can see which one of your favorite streamers are online to see if someone as cool as myself is streaming. My super mega turbo favorite thing of all is GX Control, which lets you have something like Hot Tabs Killer, which shows you which tabs are taking up the most RAM or CPU, and you can just kill them there, which is really good if you're trying to save, save some power when you're gaming really hard on some really cool games. There's network limiters so that you can limit how much Opera GX is able to upload or download at a time so that you don't lag when you're gaming. There's RAM limiter, same thing. You can limit your RAM so that it doesn't consume all of your RAM like other browsers do. I ain't even gonna name nothing, right? There's also CPU limiter for your CPU, all of that stuff. Fantastic, because as we all know, other browsers, which I'm not gonna name here, they eat the shit out of your RAM and your CPU, so it's great that we finally have a way to stop that from killing our ability to game. Now, what else do I wanna show you? Well, how about the fact that you could download animated backgrounds? Did you notice that yet? Did you notice my super cool big ass cat right here that I'm gonna keep and you can't make me change? Downloading animated backgrounds is cool, obviously, because you get some, uh, you get some creative liberties with the way that you get to browse the internet. On top of that, it just makes me happy to see a cute cat in the background every time I open the browser. Another very important thing, and I think this one's a huge one for a lot of you who have wanted to transition but haven't transitioned into Opera GX yet because you're tied somewhere else, you could actually download and use Use all of your cookies from another browser via importing it into Opera. And check this out. You could get an extension for Opera called Install Chrome Extensions, which lets you use all the Chrome extensions that you had before because they're all compatible on Opera and it just installs them and syncs them for you. So you're able to sync everything that you've been using on Chrome and you get a transition over to something that is better because it doesn't consume all of your RAM and space. Well, anyways, I just wanted to give a gigantic shout out to Opera GX for sponsoring the videos again and again sponsoring three tier lists in a row and countless other things you guys are amazing thank you guys for sponsoring so much banger content now let's dive into the hypest most important tier list we have ever done let's go now are you guys ready for the big unveil are you guys ready for the giant mega cool big unveil of the most important tier list we're ever gonna do a while ago i can't remember exactly what video it was but there was a video that i did and the most liked comment on it which i i can only assume from memory because it's been a while had over a thousand likes on it and it was somebody who said scooch listen to me it's my dying wish please come here i leaned into him he said scooch you got to make one final tier list one big tier list the most important tier list ever and i said what is it anything for you random commenter 264 and he said to me i need you to make the league of legends best wingman tier list <laughs> we're doing who's the best we're doing who's the best wingman in all of League of Legends. I told you it was gonna be the most important tier list we've ever done. I have told you, now let me show you the categories, okay? Number one, at the tippity top of it all, God tier wingman. That's the people who you know will do everything in their power to make sure that you get a date, to make sure that you get a number. The people that will do everything to keep the plane flying, those are the gods, okay? Right below it, awkward but helpful. I think a lot of us have had these people who they help you out but in doing so, they just kind of make themselves either look a little bad or they do it out of the goodness of their heart, but they don't have a lot of technique there. Boom, that's an awkward but helpful. And then below that, doesn't know what they're doing. We've all had wingmen like this, where they go up with a goal in mind, but they don't know how to approach it. So oftentimes they stumble, sometimes they help, sometimes they don't. It's just a 50-50, it's a dice roll at that point. We'll actively harm your choices. They go in trying to be a good wingman and guess what fucking happens? What do you think happens when Cho'Gath goes in and tries to talk to a girl or a guy for you? Yeah, exactly. So he will actively harm your choices. That's what this is. And then below that, is please don't take them anywhere ever, period. This is the kids. This is the void monsters that will kind of destroy Earth or, or the monsters in general that just are murderous and eh, all of that stuff. That's what goes there. And then the final, this is the one. This is the one I have to explain, okay? 
This one right here, it says Swoopmaster 5000, which is a term that me and my friends use. What a Swoopmaster is, is they go into Wingman U and then they end up getting a number instead. They are the Swoopmaster, they are to never be trusted, and you never, ever, 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 ever want a Swoopmaster to be your wing because they will let you crash in order to take your girl, all right? Now that we understand the entire MF tier list, Let's get started. Okay, Aatrox will actively harm your choices. And the reason why is because Aatrox is a fucking god of war. Why would Aatrox try to help you when he could be killing someone? I don't think Aatrox has it in him to even know what having tact and being smooth is like. He's just gonna be screaming the entire time. Don't want him anywhere near me. In fact, maybe we move Aatrox down one, huh? How about we go to please don't take him anywhere ever? You don't want Aatrox with you in the club. You don't want him with you at a bar. Why? Because he's going to start a bar fight. He's going to start the first, not even a bar fight. He's going to start the first ever bar war. You're going to go with him to fucking Patty's pub and he's going to fucking start a, a, a war between two bars that last for hundreds of years. You don't want Aatrox to be your wingman, all right? Ari is a fucking easy one. Obviously, everybody knows who Ari is. Her whole thing is to charm. I will also assume that Ari will be down to charm just about anyone. So Ari will swoop on whoever you're trying to talk to. You see a cute girl or a cute guy from across the club and you go, Ari, go over there. Put in a good word for me. She'll go over there. She'll wrap her tails and arm around them and she will leave the club with your dream date. So Ari, terrible. One of the worst choices on this entire list. Can't have Ari there. Can't have Ari showing up. Don't like her. She's trash, garbage, boo boo bad. Akali? Here's the thing, you guys don't understand. People are saying that she that she's going to fucking, you guys are saying that she's gonna be awkward. I don't think you guys understand that Akali is also a K-pop star on the side. It's not even her main hustle. Her side hustle is a, a world famous rapper, bruh. She knows people. She knows how to get the crowd moving, bruh. And she's not going to steal your girl. Akali has love and respect for the people she hangs out with, which is why Akali is going to be our first God tier wingman. That's just how it goes. All right, Alistar. Do I even have to talk about this? I don't think Alistar has it in him to control himself. I also think that if Alistar gets mad at anything, I, I, have, a, I, have, a, I have a cousin, right? I'm gonna let you guys know. Uh, I'm, I'm gonna tell you guys a story about my cousin to show you what, I, what Alistar is. I have a cousin. I have a lot of cousins and they are all the same person. It was uh, my brother's birthday. So we're like, yay, you know, it's your birthday. Let's get a party bus. And then we're gonna go to a club. This was about three years ago. So we go into this party bus and we're all sitting there doing what we what we do, pre-game and whatever, 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 taking shots, doing everything you're supposed to do in a party bus, right? We're, we're going, we're vibing, we're killing it, we're crushing it, right? And then we go to the club. We get to this club. It's like a 25 minute drive, not that long. We're all ready. Our, our whistles are wet. We're ready to get in there and get vibing. We enter the club and then um, we all get a drink. I'm the last one to order. So they're like, yeah, we're gonna just go to the dance room, right? We're gonna just go to the dance area, um, you know, meet us there. Boom. I get my drink. I walk in. I'm not even lying. We're at the club at this point for about four minutes total. Somebody bumps into my cousin. He throws his drink at the guy, shoves him. Starts a fight. Huge fight breaks out. We get kicked out of the club in five minutes. After going in a party bus, we get kicked out of, we get kicked out of the club. I didn't even get to finish my fucking beer, bruh. And that is who Alistar is. He is the FF at five. He's not going to be your wingman. He's going, he's going to start problems with everyone. Alistar, you ain't even gonna get into the club with Alistar. He's gonna fucking tackle the bouncer. Alistar's entire thing is that he's fucking pissed. Look at his eyes. He's a, he's a, ra he's a rage man. Amumu, do I even have to fucking, do I even have to say anything about Amumu? Please don't take Amumu anywhere. In fact, unless you have some sort of spell on you, don't even stand next to the boy. You're gonna turn into straight dust, and that's not something that anybody wants to date at all. Anivia, I can't remember. Is Anivia nice or is she an asshole? She's an asshole, right? She's nice. Anivia's nice. Omnipotent. Okay, Pff, bruh. Say no more. Omnipotent? Anivia's omnipotent? You know what that means. Awkward, but helpful. I don't care who the fuck you think you are. You don't have as big a chance getting at someone as the person across the room that has a 20 foot tall flying ice eagle with them. That is omnipotent. If you show up to the club and you have this gigantic, smart, nice bird flying behind you, Oh, you're gonna pull so hard. Will it be awkward? Yes. Anivia might not even want to talk to a lot of people, but still, Anivia will help you. 
She'll be awkward because she is a giant ice bird. Uh, but yeah, free ice. She'll keep your drinks cold. She'll give you a ride home. If you ever get drunk, you don't need a DD anymore. You don't need to spend money on an Uber. She is a cool wingman. Someone said, make the pun. I'm hoping that that's what you were, uh, that that's what you were referencing. Annie, Aphelios. God damn it. No, don't say swoop master. He doesn't even talk. He wouldn't even talk to you. Let me give you guys some advice and let me explain why Aphelio sucks, okay? Something that everybody thinks, for some reason, I don't know why, but guys, girls, like a lot of people, they think they can go to the club, they can have a toothpick in their mouth, wear glasses, have a leather jacket on, not smile and just sit there and look cool. And they think that that's a good thing to do. But literally, it is the exact opposite. If you go to a club and you don't talk to anyone and you just sit there by yourself, people start dodging you like the fucking draft back in the 50s. You know, people don't want to hang out with the guy who's not smiling. People don't want to hang out with the guy who's sitting there trying to look too cool for school. You know who people want to hang out with? They want to hang out with the people who are laughing the loudest, who are dancing the dumbest. That's the people that the club magnetizes towards, which is why Aphelios will actively harm your chances, especially if you just show up with Aphelios, bro. He's not going to dance. He's going to sit in the, like Yako said, he's going to sit in the corner talking to his dead sister. You don't want that. You don't want that. Ash. Awkward but helpful come on she's royalty she knows how to manipulate people not only manipulate people she knows how to make herself look good and if she knows how to do that enough to get to the position of power that she's in that means that she definitely has the ability to make you look good as well all right think about it think about it all right ash pegs <laughs> Aurelian soul kind of an asshole and you know honestly sometimes that works it sometimes people enjoy the asshole because he brings in like a form of comedy especially if you could bounce your energy off of them and just kind of make it like a straight man you know the straight man and the and the not straight man like a like Abbott and Costello but the problem is uh, uh, Aurelian soul is kind of a dick and he doesn't care about you so if he ends up somehow needing to go to the club with you he will swoop on your girl because ego is powerful. He's a swooper. Now, I don't like to make things out of character, but I feel like Azir, being the king that he is, he would be the richest man ever. I don't think he would ever swoop on you because he had a bunch of people follow him, meaning he is loyal to his people and his people were loyal to him. He has a gang. That means he will not step on your toes. And I also don't think that he would be awkward, meaning that Azir falls into the god tier wingman. In fact, he goes above a collie. Why? Because literal wings. He's a bird. Bard, and this is sad. It's kind of annoying. I know it's kind of annoying. Uh, but Bard will actively harm your chances. He's just fucking terrifying to look at. Honestly, like, it seems like, especially since all he does is make musical sounds. You know how awkward it would be to be like, oh, uh, hi, I I I'm Scooch. Uh, this is my friend Bard. And he goes, <laughs> Blitzcrank. It's, it's weird because Blitzcrank, I'm going to put him in, doesn't know what they're doing. He's very, very close to will actively harm your chances because he is a robot. And if you tell Blitzcrank, like a robot AI, he did. Never mind. You're right. He did run a dating service. Not only will Blitz, it'll be awkward as shit, by the way. Uh, but not only will he be a good wingman, but he'll also tell you like, hey, bruh. In, in, a, in a Blitzcrank voice. Here, let me try this. I got this. Give me a second. Hold on. Blitzcrank will walk up to you. He'll go. He'll go. Hey, hey bruh. Um, I'll talk to her, but y'all don't make a good match. Anyways, a rolling golem gathers no rust. Right? Brand. Uh, totally, totally, totally will actively harm your, your chances. And it's like, it, it's weird because no matter which way we go about it, Brand is a man on fire. I don't think anywhere on earth that's okay brahm bro i don't know if he goes above azir i'd say he goes under azir because azir has proven himself to get to a really good spot the reason why i would say that brahm isn't above azir is because i feel like brahm though he'd be a god tier wingman he would come on a little strong so my friend was looking at you from other side of bar maybe you two make children you know but he would do his best he would laugh it off he would like fist bump you, you know what I mean? But 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 he'd be he'd be awkward, but in such a charming way that he gets through it. Okay, Caitlin, uh, this is a weird one. Okay, um, but I learned this weekend. I met this I met this gay guy named Roy, and he taught me something that is very 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 true. And that's that the best wingmen on earth 
are always either women or gay guys. But I don't think Caitlyn would be as good as Ash. I would say that she doesn't know what she's doing, but since she's a woman, women are just naturally more emotionally aware than guys are, and there's a reason for it, by the way. You know what I mean? Like, the reason for it is that women have to deal with more social situations than guys do 99% of the time. So women end up training their social radar and filter a lot better than guys do, which is why they innately have an edge when it comes to big, uh, big circumstances. So, I will say that Caitlyn is right below Ash. She seems like she's smart enough. She seems confident enough as well to get you to where you need to be. You know what I mean? On top of that, she's a cop. She's a cop. She knows how, she knows how to talk to people. It's her fucking job. She's so stuck up though. That's fine. Who cares? If in fact, showing up with someone who's stuck up makes it look like you're cooler because they're so stuck up. Camille, holy fuck, don't bring her anywhere. Do not bring Camille anywhere. Don't. Camille, you you physically cannot bring anywhere. Camille would yell at people for drinking. And she's a grandma. People are going to be like, oh, is this your is this your grandma? Cool. I'm glad you brought her. You're so loving as a grandson. Cassio, my beautiful, beautiful baby. I love you as a champion. You're such a cool character to play. But please don't ever go anywhere ever, Cassiopeia. Ever. If someone looks at her, she can turn them into stone. You don't want that. You don't want it. Cho'Gath goes on the top of please don't take them anywhere ever, period. Because it's fucking Cho'Gath. Corky, oh my god. It's weird because I want to put him in doesn't know what he's doing. Corky slam dunks pussy for breakfast. I hate that I read that out loud. I genuinely fucking do. Oh. He does not know what he's doing. Will he actively harm your chances? I feel like he would because he would overstay his welcome. He would be like, ah, this is my friend and you should meet him and he's cool. Anyways, back when I was in war and then he would talk for about five fucking fortnights. You know, so we're gonna put him in actively harm your chances, uh, but definitely below all the rage monsters. Darius, I don't give a shit what anyone says. Darius, is right below Braum. No, he's not a swoop master. Have you not seen Darius's video? Like the videos that Darius is in? He wouldn't swoop on you, bruh. He cares so much about being loyal to his people that if you're one of his people, he's gonna be like, this, I bring you this because I know that you will do what you can for me. You know what I mean? Darius would never, ever swoop on his people. Darius is a god tier wingman. On top of that, he's a fucking alpha male. Diana. Mm, swoop below Ari because she doesn't have a charm but definitely a swoop not because she is gay and she's a woman and she is super duper 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 confident in herself it's like you can't even stand next to Diana no matter what you are if you're a guy looking for a wingman for girls you're fucked if you're a girl looking for a wingman for guys you're fucked go outside and then stare at the moon and then feel even worse because it's going to remind you what's happening inside Draven Does Draven go? All right, here's here's here. I'm gonna need chat for this one. Does Draven go in Swoopmaster 5000, or please don't take anywhere. Period. Because I know that he can very easily go into Swoop. No, I'll put him in Swoop. I'll put him in Swoop. There's too many images of him surrounded by a bunch of girls. In fact, I'll almost say that Draven goes above Ari. And the reason why is because we all know Ari's charm only works on one guy. All right, Draven's charm works on everyone. This is going to be weird, all right? And I know it's going to be weird, but I'm going to say it anyways. Draven's a terrible person to date, but he is a fantastic person to have a one night stand with. That's how that's the truth. Don't be don't be don't be upset at me. Why are you booing me? I'm right. Mundo, um huh. let's put him below Shogath. It's the same thing as Brand, except this guy is like more demented on top of that he uh you know ripping off your shirt at the club consistently just fucking throwing shit echo is canonically 16 mentally he's probably like 23 24 right but i'm gonna put echo next to the kids shouldn't the kids be in their own category and no it's, i mean the, i'm putting them on the right side of please don't take them anywhere there's a lot of reasons why to not bring someone somewhere right kids and then murderers i could i could see that <laughs> at least as a swoop i highly doubt it and this is where I say something that's specious. I don't know if it's racist. I don't even know what to call it. One of the biggest phobias on earth. In fact, let me let me look this up. Number one, what's that? Scooch, you're a fucking alpha male. Look at that. Number one, arachnophobia. 
all right no matter what it's like if you bring a girl that is she is attractive don't get me wrong at least is attractive she'll make you look good whether you're a girl or a guy when you're with somebody attractive it's like wow they must know really cool people look at how bad she is look at how bad he is etc etc right but even even if you bring her and she looks like that at any given moment she could transform into a fucking nine foot spider and i guarantee that if someone at any club that any of us have ever gone to or will go to transformed into a nine foot spider we would shit our pants that's just how it goes you know like i you know that's just the truth will actively harm your chances i won't put her in please don't take her anywhere period though because i feel like she has more constraint evelyn is the top wow we keep dethroning the top of fucking swoop master huh evelyn is the top of the top of the top of the swoop master yeah fuck yeah evelyn blows draven out of the water because when it comes to evelyn this is what she does draven it's like a weekend ordeal and then he fucking is a gladiator and he goes and he fights and he does all this other crazy shit evelyn just fucking bangs people and consumes their souls bruh i think that evelyn is going to stay at the top of swoop master i don't think you could do anything about that that's her whole shtick bro she swoops you you're gonna go to the club with evelyn as a wingman and then you're gonna go home with her on a date ezreal mm, doesn't know what he's doing poor little himbo boy however i would say that he would swoop but the thing about Ezreal, right, is he does not have the IQ to do it. He would try. Ezreal's a dick. He would try to swoop on you, but it would be like a random guy like, oh, uh, 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 that's my friend, Bill. Uh, I'm Ezreal. Uh, do you want to see this? Do you want to see this book I just stole? No, bruh. Plane is going down. You bring Ezreal as your wingman. Fiddlesticks. Fiddlesticks. What do we do here? Yeah, it's like a horror movie. God tier. I, I agree. Because like people like there's like a, a common belief that watching horror movies is like the best thing you could do with with somebody you're trying to get to know better because it makes you guys get closer etc etc it is quite literally the oldest trick in the book but now instead of telling your the girl you want to talk to like hey let's go to the movies quiet place 2 came out you could walk up to her it's like hey that's my homie fiddle you want to go stare at him for a bit <laughs> i'm gonna put him below a collie hey there's our friend oh no never mind he's over there <laughs> Oh, okay. Never mind. That one's fake too. Ah, uh, he'll show up. Fiora. I'm gonna put Fiora in doesn't know what they're doing because, you know, she's so dedicated to her craft. She probably hasn't had one social encounter in her entire life. Fizz, I'm sorry, buddy. I'm pretty positive you're of age, but you don't look it. Can't do anything about it. Sorry, Fizz. Galio, God tier and above Braum. Why? Because he's literally made to be a defender. On top of that, if you get jumped, if you were at a club, you talk to the wrong person, you end up getting jumped and Braum is in the bathroom, you're gonna get jumped for like a cool five minutes. Galio, if you get jumped in Japan and Galio is in Wisconsin, he's gonna land on the ground next to you and, and serve up a plate of whoop ass. You know, and, and, and finally, the last thing is like knowing Galio, just makes you look cooler yeah this is my homie he's made out of stone gigantic ripped his shit can fly anyways let's 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 get a drink gangplank man it's weird because gangplank very 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 obviously knows what the fuck he's doing he had a fucking ship full of dudes who love to party everybody likes to party with him for a reason however in his ship like i remember there was a story when they did the bilgewater event where he was doing scrimshaw on a guy's open shin bone because he crossed him but unlike other people who are like gangplank and love to party gangplank like he will not give a shit about you there's a hierarchy. If Gangplank goes with you, he is your captain. If you want him to wingman you for a girl and he talks to her and he finds interest, he will swoop. So I'm gonna put Gangplank above Draven because I feel like Gangplank is madder and angrier and will establish that earlier than Draven will. With Draven, his charisma is just so potent at a nightclub that he'll swoop without even trying. Whereas Gangplank would go, this broad is mine, Arr. Garen obviously goes right next to Darius. Did you see how he talked to kids in the new cinematic? He's he's, he's a little, uh, no, you know what? You're right. I'm gonna put him in awkward, but helpful because he'll be helpful. Garen would very much try to make you look cool. He is a goof though. He is a little awkward. Is he as awkward as Fiora? I don't think so. He's a chill, cool guy who would try to make you look good, but also accidentally looks good himself because he's such a ripped maniac. Nar, don't bring him. Actually, 
we gotta think this one out because nar okay you know what i'm gonna i'm gonna have to use i'm gonna have to use what somebody said in chat as an explanation because it's the truth but you don't want him to get angry that's the problem with nar you don't want nar getting pissed as long as he doesn't get pissed then you're fine because having nar around have you not seen nar they like people love dogs not just girls like dogs, guys like dogs. You know, having Nar with you would be beneficial. Be like, oh, this is my rare breed of fucking Ethiopian tigers. He can sing, but don't make him mad. Or we're just gonna have to move, like, out of town. And I'll put him in awkward, but help. Yeah. Gragas is 100% a god-tier wingman. And let me explain why he's a god-tier wingman. Because drinking games are the easiest way to meet people period for some reason everybody likes to play rage cage or beer pong or quarters or or flip cup or some random game like that and since everyone does it the people who are the best at it are the people who other people magnetize towards gragas would be so fantastic at drinking games that he will literally be a perfect person to bring at a party on top of that even though he's kind of a jerk he's friends with Jax, isn't he he, he has the capability to be friends with somebody. So I'm going to put Gragas up here. I'm going to put him below Darius, though. Graves, powerful stuff here. But Graves would be god tier. Because gay, right? It's almost canon. It's almost canon that Graves is gay. And Graves is a funny guy. The way that Graves talks, you know, he, he very obviously has comedic wit. And he hangs out with TF. So some of TF's charm must wipe off on him. You know when you hang out with somebody too much and you start talking to them? Or start talking like them? Graves definitely talks like TF now. The, the guy that I met, Roy, right? He told me, he's like, the easiest way for a gay guy to, to show that he's, not, that he's not there to step on toes and intrude is you touch a girl and you go, honey. And if Graves does that, you're in. You're in! Graves, God tier. Hecarim. Ah, I'm gonna put him next to Brand because one, asshole, two, ruination, three, on fire, yet again. But he's bigger than Brand, so we'll put him right above Brand. Heimerdinger will be right next to Corky because they have the same exact vibe. However, I would say that Heimerdinger would do his best to find out. I feel like if you told Heimerdinger, like, hey, dude, this Saturday we're going to a club. I really need a date. I haven't had a date in forever. And this girl or guy I know, like, they, they're going. And I just really need you to make a good impression for me. I feel like Heimerdinger being the guy that he is, he would read 50,000 books on how to be a good wingman. And he would show up and he would be fantastic at it just because he would like to figure out how to do it. However, I think he would come on a little bit strong, so I think he will actively harm your chances. However, if he didn't come on strong, which he would, because he's fucking Heimerdinger, he would be a fantastic wingman. Alawi! Hmm. Alawi seems like she would swoop. You know, look at her, bro. She's giant, she's powerful, she's hulking. But to be fair, she is a little bit on the nose she's a little potent she she's definitely celibate which is a better wingman because then you know that they're not trying to swoop but i feel like she would actively harm your chances because of how much a demanding she is and how much she cares about religion and needs to focus on that you know what i mean it'd be like hey that's the that's the person i want to talk to can you put in a good word she'll come up and she'll be like have you heard about tentacles let me tell you something irelia is going to go straight above a collie. Why? Irelia has this very, very, very crazy thing where she is a fantastic dancer. And as you know, great dancers make great wingmen. On top of that, Irelia wouldn't cross you like that. She wouldn't swoop master you. So you have this amazing dancer up here whose only goal is to be your wingman. Irelia goes right next to a collie because she's better than Akali, but not better than Gragas. She just wants to dance, exactly. Bro, having a dancer as good as Irelia, literally one of the greatest dancers in any video game ever, like that's a wingman, that's a wingman for sure. She would dance with you, make you look cool by teaching you the steps, and that's a wrap. Ivern, no. I'm gonna put Ivern and will actively harm your chances because it would be very much like, Ivern, look, that's the girl. That's the girl I wanna talk to. Ivern would walk up in his fucking goofy Disney Channel ass way. He would tap her on the shoulder and he'd go, Uh, are you single? <laughs> he is a very creepy fucking guy. He is creepy as hell. He'd be like, hey, how's it going? Are you single? <laughs> he has good intentions.
Just creepy. All right, now let's do Janna. Janna goes into doesn't know what they're doing, right? Janna could be in the doesn't know her, what, what, what she's doing. I don't think she'd swoop. I think she just doesn't know what she's doing. I think that she would just kind of sit there and float awkwardly on the side. On top of that, Janna, like, she's not gay either. She could flip skirts for you, which is bad. You know, it's like bringing, it's like bringing, it's like turning the club into a wind tunnel when you hang out with her. You don't want that. Jarvin, I feel like he will actively harm your chances. He's like a much angrier version of these two guys, right? He's more, he's worse than these guys. I think Jarvin's kind of a dick ass and he'll harm your chances without even swooping. He'll just harm your chances to be a fucking dick ass. So we're going to put him below all of the guys. He's a bad guy. He sucks. Might not want to take him anywhere. Jax absolutely fan fucking tastic wingman Jax wouldn't swoop and i can say with 100 percent certainty that the best person in every fucking in out of every single person in league of legends to get jumped with would be Jax, because Jax would just make you guys look so cool by beating everyone up with a fucking sign that he pulled out of the ground or a bottle you know Jax is just a fantastic wingman jace jace is kind of fucking nuts, isn't he? I don't think his ego is as potent as as Draven's. Yeah, I think he's kind of more of a, a smart dick than he is anything else. I don't think he's a swooper at all. I think he'll actively harm your chances. I'll put him above Jarvin though. Jin. Hmm. Okay, besides like the serial killer part, I think that Jin is easily a swoop master. In fact, I would say that Jin is a better swoop master than everyone except for Evelyn. And the reason why is because he would make it a goal to make everyone fall in love with him. Just, just because he likes the spectacle. He would challenge himself to swoop just so that he could be like, yeah, I'm better than you. He'll swoop on all four of your dream guys or women. He would plan everything. He'd be like, oh, you want me to be your wingman on Friday? And he would come up with the craziest, shittiest way to ruin everything for you. Jinx, bad. Wouldn't want to dance, wouldn't want to hang out, wouldn't do anything, would probably blow up the club before anything happens. Would actively harm your chances uh, more than Aphelios, for damn sure. Kaisa, baddie, absolute baddie, as we all know. Uh, but doesn't know what they're doing. In fact, at the bottom of doesn't know what they're doing because wasn't she just fucking sitting in the void her whole life? Like, like the majority of her life, she was in the void. So, you know, she just, she is the pinnacle. I'll put her as the pinnacle. She quite literally does not know what a club is. She just doesn't fucking know. She's just, what's this? Do I shoot those? It'll be like, it'll be like a costume party. She'd kill half the party. Uh, Callista. Okay, Callista would be helpful in the worst way maybe she wouldn't be helpful you know what i mean she got killed by hecarim she's kind of ruined i'll put her next to because like when you think about it she has a soul bound right and that means that she'd be a god tier wingman but the thing about here i'll put her in awkward but helpful because she would do everything for the soul bound right but she's also Callista. i want to say that karma is a god tier wing wing woman and the reason why she's a god tier wing woman is because you got to look at her kit okay she can make you look better by shielding you she can also make someone who's trying to intrude not be there by sucking out their life force and rooting them so i would put karma right under irelia because she she her entire thing is to make someone else look better karthus is a great singer but people die when he sings that's the problem and he's dead so i guess it depends where you want him to be a wingman like if it's at a funeral home maybe maybe a good one uh if it's not at a funeral home and it's at a club defile is on people start aging your fucking kneecaps turn to dust probably not a good one i think i'm gonna put him in don't bring him anywhere not his fault definitely not above these two not his fault was it cassidy that threw malzahar in the shit or malzahar that threw cassidy in the shit one of them is an asshole mouse threw cass so cassidy it sucks because i feel like cassidy would probably for the most part be decent he's looking for revenge but like but like if he takes a day off and he goes to like the club with you i feel like he'd be decent but very unfortunately he would harm your chances just because of how fucking terrifying he looks where, where, whereas like anivia is like oh that's a cool bird and this guy is like a humanoid like giant statue cassidy is like dude are you good what are you doing here at a club it sounds like you can't fucking breathe do you need help do you want me to call somebody? Katarina? Awkward, but helpful. You guys have heard Katarina hit on Garen. She's super duper duper awkward, but she's helpful. And that's what matters, okay? Kale is gonna go right next to Elawi, and that's because they both have the social... Okay, not social justice. They both have justice on their mind, which would quite literally ruin social interaction. Because she is all about, like... She's all about passing judgment, 
She reads a book by its cover way too fast. She goes up and she's like, hey, do you like my friend? And then, and then the girl, and then the girl, she's like, no, 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 I, I don't, I don't like your friend. Kel would be like, you're obviously evil. We need to banish you to hell kind of shit. You know what I mean? She, she'll call the cops for loud music. She'll call the cops for drinking. Kane? Ah, this is a weird one. I would say that Kane is very much a don't take him anywhere kind of guy. Rost? would be a swoop master. Blue Kane would probably be, doesn't know what they're doing. And then normal Kane, Lord, canonically Kane is just kind of fucking weird. Yeah, he's, he's, yeah, he's a little, he's, he's a little, I'm gonna put him next to Jinx. He's a little, he's a little, he's a little bananas, that man. Canonically Kane gets no bitches, agreed. But he is loyal, you're right. He was loyal to Zed, right? Until Ross took over. So I, you know what, I'll, you know, quite literally and figuratively doesn't know what they're doing. Uh, because he's kind of a, how, como se dice bananas, you know what I mean? Kenan, cute little yordle, made of lightning, but can control it because he learned how to control it. I personally think bringing a yordle around, that'd be fucking dope. It'd be like the dog thing with Nar, except this one's way cooler, like significantly, significantly cooler. So I'm gonna put him above, I'm gonna put him above Ash. I'm gonna put him above Callista. It would be like having a cute ass fucking hamster with you that also wants to drink. Kha'Zix, you know exactly where that goes. You're gonna see a girl from across the club. She's gonna have great makeup on, really pretty eye makeup. She's gonna have lip filler. She's gonna have gigantic tits. You're gonna tell Kha'Zix, you're gonna go, hey Kha'Zix, can you go over there? Can you go talk to that girl? She's so hot, please. And then Kha'Zix is gonna come back with really great eye makeup, re uh, lip filler and gigantic titties. <laughs> He will 100% consume and adapt. You feel me? <laughs> we, do, we do not want Kha'Zix anywhere, period. Literally steal your girl. Lamb and Wolf. You get two wingmen for the price of one, and they're both very, very, very smart people. It seems like they're both kind of omnipotent in their own regard. Never one without the other, so you do get two wingmen, but it's like they're gonna be hanging out so much that maybe they'll just hang out you know, Wolf would float at the bar. Lamb would sit there with Wolf, and then you're and then you're just gonna be left alone. I'm gonna put them in awkward but helpful though, just because of how cool they look. I think you could probably squeeze some brownie points out of hanging out with a floating wolf head and uh, and a lamb that's bad as hell. You know, they can literally predict which girls would be down. Yeah, I know the omnipotence is crazy, but Wolf is just kind of nuts. If it was just Lamb, I could probably put her in God tier because of it but but since it's lamb and wolf it's it it's the same thing as nar except now the dog's a fucking asshole clad goes right below corky for the same reason right we'll, we'll somehow find a way to talk about nothing but war or or veteran stories but on top of that he's also a little fucking bananas he wouldn't try to take your girl he would talk their ear off and then he'd flinch at nothing he is funny as hell though but he would just try to oh well, i remember one time back you know war in 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 not in Nox in Noxus, there was this good That's that's how a conversation with Kled would look like. It would just be him telling you random memories and then flinching. <laughs> because that guy is fucking nuts. <laughs> Kogma goes right next to right next to Cho'Gath. Doesn't Kogma canonically eat more than Cho'Gath? He does, right? He just be eating. Don't want that. LeBlanc is very easily two wingmen. She is smart, but she's kind of an asshole. I don't know if she's gay, but even if she's not gay, she's such an asshole that I think that she would swoop on the girl or the guy, no matter their gender. So I'm gonna put LeBlanc in swoop master, but she is going to go below Jin. Lee Sin will, mm, Lee Sin doesn't know what he's doing. He wouldn't harm your chances. In fact, he would do his best to make your chances better. I don't know if he'd be helpful. I'll do awkward, but helpful because he would, he would try. He would try his his blind heart out, and it might not work, but he would try. Leona, I want to put her right next to my baby girl Diana, kind of, because they would both swoop. But you're right, no, Leona's a lot more a lot more loyal. So maybe I'll do Leona goes into God tier. I'll put her in God tier right above Karma because again, the two most powerful wingmen are women and gay people, and Leona's a gay woman, so. That's it. You, it's like in Pokemon when you get a 4x bonus because you use two of the, the guy's weaknesses. You know what I'm talking about? It'll be like a 4x bonus. Uh, Lissandra. I 100% don't want her within the same zip code as me. I'm going to put her right below Dr. Mundo. Lucian is going to go right above Braum. 
because you guys have heard Lucian talk. That is the smoothest motherfucker that has ever talked ever. On top of that, he only has heart eyes for one person, and that is Senna. So when he goes to the club, he will walk up for you, right? Because he's a major Chad. He would talk about whatever he wants to talk about. He is very obviously socially adjusted because he's married, right? And then he would introduce you guys, and then he would start talking about his wife to disqualify himself. Ah, you guys look so cute together. You want to see my better half? Then he'll show pictures of Senna, and then the person that he helped you with will be like, okay, he's taken. All right, then maybe I'll talk to his friend. Boom. Lucian, oh. Magnifique. I'll actually put Lucian above. I'll put Lucian above Galio. I almost want to put Lucian above Azir. Is Lucian our best wingman? Yeah, okay. De cool. On top of that, not to be that guy, and this doesn't equate to anything, but I am going to say Senna is a bad bitch. And Lucian locked that down. Do you know how much of a king you have to be to lock down a bad bitch like Senna? You have to be the, the most insanely fucking good talking hottest coolest guy ever so lucian gets number one lulu don't take her anywhere that's a very obvious one i'm gonna put her above annie because annie's a kid lux uh awkward but helpful but very helpful but very helpful as in more helpful than garen would be because she seems like she is i don't want to use the word dits but she seems like she is like like she cares so little about what other people say that she will just say anything and when somebody does that, it, it lowers everyone's guard. So, sh so she goes in awkward but helpful. Malphite, um, and this is again. I know it's a cheat, but we're gonna make Malphite only about 12 to 15 feet tall. Big as hell, but not a mountain. You know, let's just you know, let's just vibe. On top of that, Malphite, you guys have seen him talk to that little rock, where he goes, "Rain on my head, snow on my feet," and then this the little guy goes, "Snow on my feet." rain on my head and then he goes and then he goes and then he goes oh never change he says that to the little guy he's just so cool but chip is a child but if malphite has that compassion for chip that means that he would be such a good wingman on top of that a free ride too because he could just kind of you know he could rock he could move like the boulders from fucking spongebob i'm gonna put malphite right below fiddlesticks there you go that seems like a good place malzahar asshole uh, arachnophobia. It's just all of the bad things at once. I put him above Elise because at least he looks more normal, but fucking asshole. Complete fucking asshole and will spawn genuinely fucking three foot tall spiders to scare everyone. Don't want him around, period. Ma uh, Maokai isn't an asshole, is he? I forgot. Is Maokai an asshole or is, or is he just trying to chill with nature? He's just trying to chill? Okay. If he's just trying to chill, then I'm gonna put him right below Malphite. You know what I mean? Because I haven't heard him talk to kids. However, I've seen him use his kids as little suicide bombers. So maybe, maybe, maybe he's not the right, uh, maybe he's not at the same level. You know what I mean? But he does seem chill. He just wants nature to be good. Master Yi goes right next to, uh, Lee Sin for the exact same reason. He would be awkward, but he would be very, very, very helpful. He's just trying to help you out. Miss Fortune is a lot nicer to her crew. Than, sh than Gangplank is, right? Isn't Misfortune loyal to her crew? As in, literally, Misfortune canonically, like, everybody loves her. And the reason why they love her is because she she's just so charismatic. In the Bilgewater stories or whatever, it talked about how much everyone loved this loudmouth drinking redhead girl. And Misfortune is also one of the baddest bitches ever invented. So if you go to a club and you're like, I need you as my wingman, she will 100% drink six shots in a row with you and then pull way too many girls specifically so i'm gonna put misfortune i'm gonna put misfortune above his ear i'm sorry mordekaiser free tickets to brazil swoop yeah you would talk to a girl mordekaiser would go you and then he would take her to fucking he would give her a, a one-way ticket to brazil in fact mordekaiser literally has a kit built for swooping in, in the worst way so i'm gonna put him in swoop master even though he's kind of an asshole he, he's still he's still a he's he's still a swoop master now it's crazy i want to say we're about 50 percent through this tier list or maybe we're like at 47 we're probably like 47 percent through this tier list which is also the amount of people who watch this video that are subscribed so if you want to help the channel out 
please subscribe to the channel because the majority of the people that watch our content aren't subscribed and subscribing really helps us out. So I love you if you subscribe. I love you if you don't. Just please do because it helps us out and ring the little bell thingy too so that you don't miss a banger. Let's get back into the tier list. Uh, Morgana, awful. Morgana, awful, right? Morgana, awful? She's nice to mortals? Okay. Is she? Because she's supposed to be the... No, you know what? Here, I think this is going to be safe because she's also all fucked up when it comes to judgment and she's a fallen angel. So they both are synonymous with like, they would harm your chances just because their head's somewhere else. Nami? Who the fuck doesn't? You name one person on the entire planet that doesn't like mermaids. Nami would help you out. She'd be awkward because she's Nami, but she would help you out. She's, bro, she's a fucking fish. She's a fish. How long is, uh, how long is 16 in fish years? If Nami is a koi, which she has a skin for, and her real age, her real age is 16 years long, she would be 51 years old, bruh. I'm, I'm doing the math for you guys, bro. She's 51 in human age. That's just fuck. Look, I'm doing the math. But because I don't want the fucking FBI knocking on my door, I guess we'll put her next to a Moo Moo and the other kids. Literally next to the one other fish kid. <laughs> Nasus, this one, you guys are going to have to bear with me. Okay, Nasus actually goes right next to Azir. And the reason why is because Nasus in his lore had to defend a library with all of wisdom. And I know that in that library, he read books. And at least one of the books was called A Hundred Ways to Be the Best Wingman on Earth, written by a Shuriman love doctor. Okay, so Nasus has the tech for anything. Your car breaks down, he probably read a book on that too. He probably knows some, some stuff you could do at the gym. He's probably a great chef. Smooth as shit. Yeah, he's a genius. And, and, you know what? Fuck that. Nasus is going up here. You want to know why he goes above Azir? Because yes, Azir is a bird because wingman, but Nasus is also a dog, bro. So he, A, he's loyal, and B, you can give him some head scratchies at the club. Right? People would love that. Nautilus. Nautilus is kind of chill, but I don't think he would want to wingman for anyone. I don't remember if his uh, if his lore changed or not, but he was a part. He was a captain of a ship, and he was a giant guy. And then he got pulled into the water by the black, the blackness. And then the blackness tried to pull him under the water, and he grabbed onto the ship, and he was so strong he almost tipped the ship o over. His crewmates unhooked his hand, and then he fell into the bottom of the ocean, merged with the black thing that pulled him in, now has his anchor at, to remember the ship that he was on, and walked all the way back through the bottom of the ocean to land, which is crazy, because that would have taken me, like, years. And honestly, I'm gonna say he's helpful. I'm gonna say he's helpful on the, on the strict and easy understanding that he is a support. And I know I said I wouldn't do this, but I have to give Nautilus some, some some opera gx bonus points i have to give him some bonus points because his joke is the funniest joke in league of legends sometimes i think this anger just weighs me down which also makes things fucking scary because it means that that man weighs nothing i'm gonna put him on the top of awkward but helpful because he is better than blitzcrank now that he's now that he's so funny we can all agree that he's a riot, okay? Nico, fantastic wingman, but at the same time, doesn't know what she's doing. The reason why I say fantastic wingman is because she could transform. So what she will do is she'll walk up, right? She'll spit her game for you. And then when she fails, she will leave. She'll walk back up as someone else. Try to be a wingman again. When she fails, she'll leave. She'll walk back up as someone else until she wings good enough to give you a shot. I'm telling you. I know the science, bro. She's also gay, making her a fantastic wingman. So she is gay, woman, for the most part. She is a gay woman, which is the 4X bonus, as we all know. But on top of being a gay woman, she has multiple chances to wingman you. She goes above all these people. Uh, not above Galio. Can't put her above Galio. Nidalee, I'm gonna just say awful, huh? Nidalee sucks. Oh, wait, no, I take it back. She transformed into giant cat. People would love that. If you show up, to the club with a cougar that obeys you that is also a bad bitch half the time that's a wrap there is not a single person who wouldn't hang out with you unfortunately that's also a wrap for you because she would swoop 100 she would swoop and some people are in bigger risk than other people 
right? But she would swoop. Anyways, Nidalee goes above LeBlanc. Nocturne. Oh, God. Nocturne's kind of a dick. But he, he has such a cool power. Like, you, he could make anywhere into a rave if he tried. But he's kind of a dick. And he's also made of blades and shadow. I don't think I want him anywhere near me. Uh, definitely not as bad as Kha'Zix, though. Or Mundo. Nunu and Willump. Unfortunately, you can only bring Willump. Nunu has to stay outside of the club. And because of that, Willump wouldn't go. Meaning the these people go straight into the kids section. Willump would be Pog, though. Willump would be a fantastic wingman. If you could tell Willump, like, hey, Nunu's gonna stay, you know, he's gonna be babysat by my mom, and my mom is sick. So don't worry about Nunu, he's safe. You and I go to the club, Willump would be down. He would definitely be a good wingman. Olaf is a Viking, and as we all know, Vikings love to drink, and that's just how it goes. He is a god wingman. I don't think he would. S ah, never mind. Brolov's skin. And I know Brolov's skin isn't canon, but the fact that Brolov's skin is almost more used than Olaf's skin is nowadays just kind of means that Brolov has become the ultimate thing. So I'm going to have to put him in a swoop master. It's going to be a swoop master angle. It's going to be a swoop master angle. Unfortunately, it's a swoop master angle. But he goes beneath Draven. Ariana doesn't know what she is doing. And she goes right next to Kaisa for the same exact reason. Orn, my god. Orn would be awkward but helpful. But check this out, okay? Check this shit out. Orn can make you a gift to give to the person he is wingmanning for. He could literally like construct a little necklace, a little beautiful necklace that is indestructible, the strongest necklace ever made. And then he'd be like, hey, just so you know, he wanted you to have this. Oof, he'd crush it, he'd crush it. Yeah, if he hates people, whatever. Then he could just sit in the back of the club drinking to himself and making you heavy necklaces. Pantheon, my fucking God. Do we even have to fucking, what's that song called? I can't play the actual audio, but this scene right here, do I even got to tell you, bruh? Do I even, like, you know what I mean? Like, I don't, you know, I don't even, we, that's a swoop master. That's easily a swoop master, bruh. He goes above, he goes above Gangplank. He wouldn't swoop out of respect. Is he a bro, though? The thing is, like, even if they're a bro, there is such thing as the accidental swoop. And I'm saying, like, I've seen this in my life. There is such thing as the accidental swoop where, where you go in, right? And then you're like, I'm going to make my friend Billy look good. And then you go in and you talk to the girl and the girl accidentally gets interested or the guy accidentally gets interested in you. There's such thing as the accidental swoop. He would swoop because he's Pantheon. He'd be like, you should come dance with my friend and I. And then he'd fucking whip out those moves and that's a wrap. You're fucked. You can't do anything about it. Poppy can't even compose a joke. On top of that, Poppy, I'm going to just put her with the kids. Even though I know she's not a kid, I'm going to put her with the kids because she looks so crazy young and also so awkward all the time. And it's not even like, you know, you can hang out with Poppy at like a park, play some football maybe. Yeah, I, I wouldn't take Poppy because just look at her, man. Even in the picture, she looks fucking scared. She looks like she doesn't even want the picture being taken of her. You don't want her to be there. Pike. Oh, man. It depends. It depends. It really depends because Pike loves money. So if you go to the club with Pike and you go, here's $20. Can you be a good wingman for me? He'll be like, going. And he'd swim off. Yeah, this is my friend. And you're going to talk to him. And then he would actively, he would actively harm your choices because he's so fucking terrifying. I'm going to put him right below Bard. I'm gonna put him right below Ivern. Kiana is a swoop master. I will almost say that she goes above LeBlanc. Do we even gotta fucking talk about Kiana? Like, Jesus Christ, that is the most cocky and entitled fucking thing I've ever seen in my life. And she's a baddie. You know what I mean? You can't do anything about it. Quinn! Quinn is awkward but helpful. And the reason why I say that is because she is the same as the other girls where she's not the best, she's not the worst, but she has a fucking eagle with her. She has an eagle with her. That's fucking awesome. So she'll attract attention. People would want to hang out with you and Quinn. And she has Valor, who is quite literally one of the best wingmen of all time. Rakan, unfucking fortunately, Rakan goes above Jin. The reason why is because he wouldn't swoop on purpose. Rakan wouldn't do it on purpose, but people will not be able to help fall in love with Rakan. Even if he's loyal, he'll like the girl would or guy would forget that you exist because of how hot Rakan is. 
He is so hot and so good at performing that even if he's like, yeah, I got a wife. Uh, she's the best thing ever. I love her so much. Uh, and anyways, here's my friend. Uh, I'm gonna go dance. And then he goes dance. Like the person that he was supposed to wingman you for would just stop talking and stare at him. Ramus goes right next to Nar because it'd be like having a turtle with you, which is less cool than a dog, but he's chill. He physically cannot, he's physically incapable of wingmanning for you though, because he's just gonna be like, hey, him and then they're gonna go no and he's gonna go okay and he's gonna slowly walk back to you and give you a thumbs up didn't work out singe next to mundo guys fucking nuts rexai next to kogma girls fucking nuts renekton next to chogath guys fucking nuts rengar next to kazix guys fucking nuts <laughs> That was easy, huh? Riven kind of sucks. She's kind of mean. She kind of fucking sucks. Don't think that I would want her as a, as a wingman. I, I don't even think that I would, like, I'll, I'll put her in actively harm your choices because I feel like everyone would give her a shot to be a wingman and then we would regret it. So I'll put her in actively harm your choices. Rumble. I'm going to put him next to the kids. Even though I know Rumble is older, I'm going to still put him next to the kids because Rumble doesn't seem older. On top of that, if he's not next to the kids, then he goes next to Corky, which is just weird. Rise, guy's fucking nuts. Put him next to Renekton. Put him right below these two. He's not wise. He's nuts. His whole shit is about that scroll. His whole life. You guys ever... All right, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to ask you guys a question. You guys ever have a friend who's like super into something? It could be Metroid. Let's use fucking Metroid. Your friend is super into Metroid. And then you have to tell them, hey, dude, we're going out tonight. Please, for the love of God, don't bring up Metroid. Like, please. Like, that's the one favor I'm asking you to do. And then you go to the club with them, and then you meet somebody, and you're talking to a new group of people, and then your friend goes, yo, that hat, it reminds me of one of the monsters in Metroid. Honestly, like, I don't know if you played the first Metroid, but it's like so good and it kind of set up what Metroidvanias are now, which is kind of carrying the, the indie game, the sphere of indie games on its back. Like, trust me, like Metroid is like, and then it just turns into like, please shut the fuck up. People are actively walking away while you're talking about Metroid. Please do not talk about Metroid. That's Rise and his, and his scroll, bruh. Okay, Sejuani, bad. Fucking bad, bad, bad bitch. Just the baddest bitch. And she's loyal to her tribe. And she has bristle with her. Control, so it's not gonna bite anyone. So she goes right above Quinn. She brings them out. She can bring them out if she wants to. Or she could tie it to a bike lock outside. You know what I mean? Senna goes right next to Lucian. You wanna know why? Because Senna is a fucking bad bitch. She is such a bad bitch. She is, she knows what she wants. She's attractive as all hell, and she's married, so she physically wouldn't swoop. Such a bad bitch. Set pff, below Rakan. Below Rakan. Because Rakan magnetizes too many people, so he has to be up there. The only reason he's not beating Evelyn is because Evelyn canonically needs to swoop, but Set would swoop just for being Set. He is way too fucking good at being cool. His splash art, bro. Bro, like, who? You tell me who on earth competes with him. If this man has a girl in his splash art that is so absolutely attractive that she also broke the internet when his picture came out, then that means that he's a beast. Shaco, performative, really funny, but would make jokes at other people's expenses, which is one of the patented don't do it ever rules in Wingman. Unfortunately, Shaco, you're going to go into actively harm choices, except you'll be above these three because you're funny. Shen, what do we think? What do we think about Shen? Shen, awkward but helpful. Definitely helpful, but I'm wondering if he is a god or if he's just awkward but helpful. I'll put him in awkward but helpful above everyone because he'll be next to you whenever anything happens. You know what I mean? He's old as shit, but he's helpful. He is the def he is the dictionary definition of a helpful man. And yes, definitely confident. Shivana? I'm gonna put Shivana next to. I feel like she'll she'll actively harm your chances. Because she's kind of angry. I'll put her in doesn't know what you're doing what they're doing because she physically would not know what she's doing. On top of that, she's like a fucking dragonborn. Do they even have clubs in Dragonville? No, doubt it. Scion, please don't take him anywhere. Rage machine, giant. As a hammer hits the ground, he'll knock everybody in the club up. Bunch of fatalities would probably kill your date there, huh? Can't fit through the door, etc., etc. Sivir is 100% a swoop artist. And you guys know that Sivir's a swoop artist. She'd steal your date for money. She would literally 
go to be your wingman and then she'd be like yeah hi wow you look cool i've noticed you from across the bar and then she'd be like oh you should really meet my friend uh you should really meet my friend jacob he's super cool and then Siver would notice that the person she's trying to talk to has like a diamond ring on and then she'd be like oh wow where'd you get that ring and then she'd find out that the person is rich and then she'd be like wow maybe you and i should get out of here you know she'd swoop on you so fucking fast she would swoop on you the second she can make a buck out of it absolutely insane so sivers a swoop master but not as good not as good as any of these guys definitely right there and ari needs to get the fuck back up here i'm gonna put ari uh, she just kind of got scooted over i'm gonna put ari as third um skarner ah poor guy skarner is so nice but he's so sad all the time but i don't want to put him in please don't take them anywhere i'm gonna put skarner in doesn't know what they're doing because i want you to take him somewhere if if skarner doesn't have plans please take him to like the park you know go take him shopping give him food but don't he, he wouldn't know what he's doing in a wingman situation take him to disneyland yeah give him give him like a disney world all expense paid trip go fucking get an uber that has a horse carriage attached to the back take him to fucking disneyland you know sona ah it's weird it's weird because sona doesn't talk but she can communicate with the summoner and she can play music and if she's being your wingman then she can magnetize people with her music and then be like ha you know you're my friend she'd like point at you she'd wink at you and stuff and then people will be like wow this person must be so cool because they know this very talented artist so i'm gonna say awkward but helpful because the second there needs to be a conversation it's it'll be awkward but in a club you gotta think if everyone's drunk there's gonna be somebody who walks up to sona and goes hey can you play thought shit by megan the stallion you know what I mean? Um, Soraka, kind of a goat, kind of a goat. Awkward, but helpful. Awkward, but helpful below Katarina. Literally a goat, but not the goat. And that is where a, a that is an important thing to notice. Swain, piece of shit garbage man. Uh, I'm gonna put him next to Brand. The only thing difference, like he's, he'll actively harm your chances, but he's not cool enough to swoop for you. The only thing that Swain would have that would make things better for you is the fact that he has 15 birds with him, but he is a piece of shit, but he'd help. All right. You know what? If Swain just fucking loved you, like you're his best friend or like you're his son, you know, like if you guys just hit it off and have been besties for as long as you guys can remember then I would put him in God tier. I would put him in God tier because he is a master tactician, which is a very big thing when you're trying to be a wingman, but also he has a ton of birds with him, which is awesome. He would stab you in the back, but if he didn't, he'd be a God tier wingman. Silas is a swoop master. Silas is a goddamn swoop master, and we all know that Silas is a swoop master. He doesn't care about shit. Even if he's your best friend, look at him, bruh. His whole thing is to steal. Silas will steal your girl from a mile away. And he has chains, meaning he's into kink stuff. You're fucked. Nobody's gonna wanna talk to you if you're hanging out with Silas. Terrible wingman. Syndra, fucking nuts. She goes next to the fucking nuts. Tom Kench is in a weird spot because if you pay him, he'd be great. He's he, His voice, it's smooth like butter. He knows how to negotiate. He knows how to get under people's skins and make them make a decision that even if they don't want to make it, they'll make it just because he's talking to them. However, he does lose points because he is a giant catfish monster, which is not something that a lot of people would enjoy to see at the club. So I will say that he is awkward, but helpful. And also if you owe him, right? Like if you owe him like $5 from dinner two weeks ago, um, he will swoop. Talia, kid, 100% kid. Talon. Talon's not a swoop master, but he, yeah, but he's kind of a fucking loser. He's just like an edgelord, you know what I mean? So I'm gonna put him in doesn't know what he's doing. Under Kane. Tarek. We all know, we all know, we all know. You physically cannot stand in a room with Tarek without looking at him. However, he is very, 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 very obviously gay so we're in this super weird situation where if he is wingmanning for a guy he is god tier but if he is wingmanning for a girl he is a swoop master it's the first time we've ever hit that situation but he is truly 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 gay timo right next to lulu because he's a uh, i don't know if his lore is still what it used to be but he fucking hates he hates everything timo's a fucking psychopath I, I, people love him and he's nice to his, his community but he's a fucking psychopath thresh quite literally the dictionary definition of a swoop master 
he will keep your wife's soul um it is canon and that's just how it goes let's put him in swoop master 5000 tristana goes with the kids even though she's 40 she goes with the kids if you don't like that uh take it up with god himself go to church talk to a priest in a confessional and tell them you have a problem with it and maybe the priest will slap you too trundle there's this weird thing right where it's like when you look at this when you look at this you know, it's like, eh, probably not a good thing to bring in the club. But then you see this, and it's like, God fucking damn. Like, let's be honest. I don't fucking care. You guys cannot lie. I don't care how straight you are. I'm straight as shit. Look at this. Come on. Come on. So, ripped man, but I don't think it is enough. I think he will actively harm your choices. Trundle actively harms your chances because he's Trundle. He's a troll. He's an idiot. Trindamir got his way up there in kingly ship in the same way that Ash did. So he would be awkward, but he would be super duper duper helpful because he knows how to manipulate people if he's a fucking king. Yeah, he would try to help you, but he's not as good as these two. These two aren't as good as these two, and that's just how it goes. You know, because these two, this is like true love, obviously got together because of because of skill and talent. These two, it was a marriage arranged to make them both more powerful, but they are, you know, they are in a relationship and they both know how to play the, play the stage. Twisted Fate is going to go right under Azir. I'll put him in right under Azir. No, I'll put him above Azir. I'll put him above Nasus too. Because Nasus would have so much game because he learned it. TF is a natural, which is so impossible. TF didn't learn it. He was born smooth as silk. You just physically can't teach that. So the self-taught, he is he's just better. The only reason he's not above MF is because as we all know, women make the best wingmen. That's just the truth. Write it down. Twitch smells like absolute dog shit. Udier definitely 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 smells like dog shit as well ergot terrible please don't bring him anywhere i don't want him in the club i don't want him near my house i don't want him in my city or my state or my country please keep that gross man away from me varus okay you guys are gonna have to bear with me here okay what did we say do you guys remember the best wingmen are either gay people or women and varus and if you're a gay if you're gay and a woman you get the 4x bonus you're you're almost crafted by the gods to be the best wingman ever however varus gets the 4x bonus because he is two gays he gets the 4x bonus because he is two gays on top of that he's goddamn shredded like a like a like some good cheese he's an ancient warrior god and then two gay guys so he's gay squared if if they were trapped in the vessel of like if if, if these two guys were trapped in this guy that'd be it vain uh awkward next to ash vagar keep him away from everything ever give him a fucking hang out with him watch a movie with him maybe if you could pull vagar out of that dark state he's in he'll be cooler um but until then no Please don't go anywhere. Velkaz. Here's the thing. Velkaz would be helpful because his entire thing is to assimilate and understand information. So he has probably killed 1,000 Romeos in his two days of being on Earth. And therefore, he understands what 1,000 Romeos did to get to where they are. He wouldn't swoop because he doesn't care enough about it. And if he's your wingman, then that means he is actively trying to help you out. Meaning Velkaz would be a god tier wingman because he is the mind of a bajillion wingmans. Won't he assimilate your date? If he's if he's there to be your wingman, if you and him go way back and you used to hang out with him when he was a little baby tentacle monster, then he wouldn't assimilate your date. However, he would assimilate everyone else at the club. Just tell him to do it after you leave. You know what I mean? Victor, weird, weird as shit, kind of mad with power, kind of insane even. So I'll put him next to Jinx in the Nutter Butter Club. Vi, you physically cannot contest the fact that Vi is the hottest character in League of Legends besides Kale. And, and remember that women attract more than men. So Vi beats out Set, but get this, Vi is also gay. So she gets the 4x bonus, which puts her above Ari as well, even though Ari has a charm built into her kit. However, she physically cannot beat Rakan because that 4x bonus still doesn't come close 
to what Rakan is. It's yeah, Rakan is a 10x, bro. It, 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 yeah, he's so good at dancing that people actively want to watch him dance in the middle of a battlefield and they end up dying for it. He's too good. You cannot fuck with Rakan. In fact, unfortunately, we got to do this. Rakan charms five people. Evelyn charms one person. Meaning Rakan is now our biggest swoop master. Vladimir is smooth. He is a smooth man. He is a smooth guy. He's not even awkward. He's just smooth. So I would put Vladimir up here above the monsters and above Akali. He's also kind of crazy. Yeah. Yeah, but look at him, bro. He's fucking hot as shit. He would talk about... Yeah. When you put it that way, awkward but helpful. Awkward but helpful. I'll put him beneath Katarina then. I'll put him beneath Soraka as well. Because he, he would definitely bring up some weird shit. But he is smooth as hell. He's supposed to be like the Casanova vampire type. Volibear, cute doggo times 10. Right next to right next to Nar in the cute doggo category. Warwick, this guy's fucking nuts. Put him right next to Renekton. Wukong is young. But here's what I'm going to say. If all three of these people know Wuju style, then I would say that they're all going to be awkward and they're all going to be helpful. But I would put Wukong on the top of these because Wukong likes to fuck around, therefore making him a more charismatic person. Volley is arguably more insane than Warwick. Volley, yeah, but if you're on his side and you're hanging out somewhere where he would go to a club, think about it. All right, you know what? This is going to be the one fan vote. I am going to move Volley Bear down to because he's kind of a piece of shit. However, I will say, Lightning Bear, you'd be the coolest guy in the club if you could bring a Lightning Bear. I promise. Okay, let's go to Zaya. Zaya goes next to Talon. Where's Talon at? Doesn't know what they're doing. Zaya hates everybody and also an edgelord, which is why Talon's here to begin with. So she's not a swoop master, she's a fucking edgelord. Rakan fell in love with her because of how dark she is and how, how light he is. Reddish hair though, she is so hot. True. She is hot. Red hair is hot, but still. Too edgy. Zareth, guy's fucking nuts. Goes right next to Renekton. Xin Zhao. Uh, I'm gonna put him next to Quirky. Because Xin Zhao is very much like a he'll only talk about uh, war. You know what I mean? <laughs> Xin was J3's wingman and J3 died. <laughs> so maybe he's bad, huh? All right, Yasuo, come on. Yes, he is kind of, people hate him. People don't want him to go around, but we have to admit Yasuo is smooth like butter. He's a bro. He can play the flute. He's such a goddamn cool guy. I almost want to put him in the accidental swoop category, but I think he's too wise to swoop on someone accidentally. Notice how the accidental swoopers are kind of dumb as a pair of bricks, but Yasuo is too smart. So if he sees himself being a little too cool, he'd be like, excuse me, guys, I got to go shit and just ruin his chances right then and there. Uh, Yorick, kind of fucking nuts, unfortunately. He goes in the nutter butter category where you don't want him around. However, he does have a maiden, so something seems to be going well there. Yumi, I just want to fucking punt this thing off a cliff. No, I don't want Yumi with me at the club. I don't want Yumi with me at all. Zack, fucking awesome. Zack goes in the god tier wingman list because A, he has nothing but party tricks, and B, he is a bro, and C, he is a hero. His whole shit is about being a hero. He is a god-tier wingman. He goes above all of the monsters except for Fiddlesticks because Fiddlesticks is a horror movie, and that's great for dating. You're right, though. Zack can canonically wingman two people at the same time because he could split up into pieces. So when you put it like that, Zack is a better wingman than almost everyone. Because he could wingman for two different people, three different people, four different people, depending on how short he wants to be. He could wingman four times at once, casting a big net and effectively making him more useful. Zed, kind of fucking nuts. I'm going to put him in the fucking nutter butter tier. Ziggs, kind of fucking nuts. I'll put him right next to Zed. Zillion would try his best, but he's so goddamn old. You, you, you would be talking about like, yeah, I'll add you on Instagram. And Zillion will be like, oh, Instagram, is that what the kids use? I remember when I was a kid, we used fire. Anyways, Zoe, you know what I'm going to say here. I don't even have to say it out loud. Put her next to the motherfucking kids, even though she is 1,000 years old. When you put it that way, I'll put Zillion a little bit higher because, again, he could rewind time for you if you fuck up. So there's that. Yeah, you're right. He can he can just chrono shift backwards. You're right. Zyra, kind of 
she's nice to plants, but she hates people. I don't think that Zyra, like Zyra would be a bad choice. I'm going to put Zyra in the don't bring them around category. Lilia, this one might not sound right, and I apologize for it, but Lilia is quite literally the definition of resident sleeper. She is. And she would be so terrified of being in a club that she would freak the fuck out at the flashing lights and run into a car, okay? We're keeping Lilia in the please don't take her anywhere. Please, please do not do that to her. Yone goes right next to Yasuo, as they always do, because they're the same guys. Awkward, but helpful. He'd pay for everything and get you a rental. Exactly. You know what I mean? So he's chiller than Yasuo. They both go in the awkward, but helpful category. Samira is an accidental swoop master, and you guys know why. Come on. She hits all the nails on the head. I don't know if she's gay, but she might be gay. She is cool as fucking hell. Everybody fucking loves her. Every single person loves her. And she's muscular as shit, which is hot nowadays. Boom. Bad bitch. Accidentally swoops, but not as good as Jin does. Seraphine, do not bring her anywhere. However, if we are being honest about Seraphine, even though we hate her, Seraphine goes with Sona. Because she would have such a good voice. She's such a talented singer. She could draw in such a big crowd that eventually she could call you up on the stage with her. And then everybody would think that you're cool by association. So Seraphine goes in the awkward but helpful. Rel goes right next to Annie, the kids. Viego, ha, ah, post-ruination Viego, no go. Please don't bring him. Please do not bring Viego in, the, in his post-ruination stage because he is crazy as fuck. So we're gonna say, please don't take him anywhere, period. Put him right next to Zareth. But pre-ruination, he was also obsessed with this all day. As in, you don't wanna take pre-ruination or post-ruination Viego with you to the club because either everyone dies or he spends the entire time at the club texting his soul day and not even giving you time the time of day that's why Viego that's why Viego goes where he does Gwen is a child she is just a kid she's just a goddamn kid so there we have it wow is that it are we done we're already done with the fucking tier list. That was a pretty fast one, huh? Nice. Good job, everyone. And we finally did it. We did the most important tier list we have ever done. Interesting. We have done our literally the most important tier list ever. And I am fucking proud of us because this is such a cool and hard tier list to get done. And we did it. Fucking phenomenal job out there, team. We fucking crushed that. We we snapped there. We ate that, sis. Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. I had a blast making this tier list, and I know it's mainly memes, but it was hilarious to do it. If you have any other tier list ideas you want me to do, why the fuck not? It seems like you guys enjoy tier lists a lot, so I'll be making a lot more tier lists in the future when I don't have any other ideas for content. Again, this isn't limited to League of Legends, but I like doing League of Legends ones. All right, I love you guys to death. Thank you for watching. And now click the videos that are on the screen to continue to have a very good time. They're both bangers, I promise you. And now I send you a kiss. I love you. Goodbye.